Uh, two words rarely put together in human history until now, and that's artificial intelligence. And yet in 2023, we must ask a new question, and that is, can AI help us? Specifically, can artificial intelligence discover an antibiotic? Researchers using AI say they found an antibiotic that works against a bacteria that can be almost impossible to treat. The compound was so precise that it could target the problem pathogen and leave beneficial bacteria in place. Let's get more on this incredible story, actually, from CNN's Elizabeth Coe. Elizabeth, why are researchers hoping to combat this bacteria and how does the AI help uh, to achieve that? Max, this bacteria called Acinetobacter baumannia, it is really quite terrible because it's so smart. It's managed over the years to outwit nearly all or sometimes even all of the antibiotics that we can throw at it. It's seen those antibiotics and it has managed to learn how to outwit them. So people are also trying to use intelligence now to outwit the bacteria. The way that this usually happens is that you try out this drug and see if it works, try out that drug, but that is relatively slow and there's no time to waste and here's why. So this bacteria, it really preys on people in hospital settings. And so it's the most vulnerable people um, who it preys on. It can cause infections in the blood and the urinary tract. It can cause lung infections. In other words, it can cause pneumonia and it clings to surfaces. And that's really why this is such a villain is that even if you're very, very good at cleaning there, it is possible that you could miss it. So artificial intelligence can do this much more quickly. It can try out this different drug, that different drug, that different drug. It can try out hundreds of millions of drugs or even a billion drugs. Whereas when you're doing it sort of the old fashioned way, maybe you can do like a million drugs. So what these folks did, these are scientists um, in the United States is they took a mouse, they gave it a wound with this bacteria, and then they uh, gave them this, gave the mouse this antibiotic. And not only did it kill the bacteria, but it didn't hurt uh, good bacteria. That's one of the things you look for in antibiotic. You want it to keep the good bacteria and kill the bad bacteria. Now, I will say, Max, that we shouldn't think this is going to be on the market anytime soon. This is a great day if you're a wounded mouse. This is not a great day if you're a wounded person. Like today, we will have to wait. We'll have to wait to make sure that this drug doesn't, you know, they'll have to try it out. Does it cause other problems for human beings? Can we get a pharmaceutical company to see that this is profitable? Those two things are challenging and it will take years at least. Max? So is this potentially a way to tailor antibiotics to other drug resistant pathogens? Yes, absolutely. I mean, this is really a proof of principle that AI, it just manages to do the job faster. It doesn't do anything humans can't do necessarily. It just does the job faster. That's been the real problem with antibiotic development, Max, over the years, is that it just takes decades and decades and hopefully AI can cut that time down.